Hey everyone, welcome back to How to Be a Poser. Today, we're gonna to be using posture and direction in order to imply the threat of violence. In order to do that, we're gonna be using the Sideshow Collectibles Punisher six scale figure. Let's get started. Okay, here it is, the Punisher six scale figure from Sideshow. Turned out great. Comes with so many accessories, but for our purposes, we're only gonna need the submachine gun, a couple of hand grenades, and the bulletproof vest. Let's go. Before we get started with the actual posing, there are a few issues with dressing the figure that you might wanna look into. Uh, first and foremost, the most obvious thing that comes to my mind is these pistols in the holster. They came to me out with the straps not properly wrapped around the pistol, so I'm going to fix that. Okay, so here's his bulletproof vest, and while he looks strong, tough, really awesome without it, once you add this element to it to, his, to the figure, it's going to beef him up quite a bit. So it's velcroed right here, so just very gently, carefully pry those things apart. Just pull that loose. Once that's accomplished, you just put this on over his head, and here's where it gets tricky. You want to lift those arms up, lift up the guns, bring the Velcro underneath, then seal that tight. One side done, come around to the other side, repeat the process. Again, just as before, make that nice and tight, drop those pistols back down, bring those arms back down, and there he is. Now, once that's on, pull this down, neckline down just to make it look less like he's wearing a turtleneck. One other thing that I'm noticing is at the back here, it seems like the shirt is wanted to ride down, exposed in the back of his neck. Bring the collar up so that it's parallel, so that it runs even with his uh, hairline here. Okay, next thing you're going to want to do, we're going to arm him. To that end, remove this hand. We're going to use this specific hand. This one is cut to go around this grip precisely. So insert the thumb behind there, and then form a grip. Once you have that established, you're gonna use your fingers to get his index finger into the trigger guard, and you're good. Slide the joint in the keyhole there, make sure that it's in all the way, and we're done. Now I'm gonna replace this with a fist. Now again, I've said this in other videos, but if once you've had the hand placed into the wrist joint, you're not satisfied with which direction that's pivoting, just pivot it quite a ways in one particular direction, and then once it's there, rotate to where you'd like it to be, and then you can spin it. We're gonna bring his arm back, we're gonna bring that body around, twist the torso, and this is the part where we're gonna have to start paying attention to his posture. Okay, I'm running into a bit of an issue with this pistol right here, the butt of that rifle is colliding, so I'm just gonna have to make a few adjustments by pushing this pistol back to make room for the butt of the weapon so that he can bring it up here. It's fairly perpendicular to the ground and I don't think that's attractive. So what I really wanna do is kinda of give it a bit more of an angle. And to do that, I'm just gonna twist it and then move his arm up just a touch away from the body. So let's get this hip placement right. Just kind of give him a nice little C shape here. Cause that, having that body moving towards the camera just a little bit kinda of gives you a little bit of energy. Okay, at this point I'm, I'm parting his legs just a little bit more just to give him an appearance of a more solid stance. If you want to, you can dress him up a little bit more at this point, or you could do it beforehand. But he has hand grenades that will nicely go, for instance, here on these straps. Here we go. I'm kind of having to pull this handle out in order for it to slide down. Ah, uh, so worth it though. Look at that. Uh, the knife's okay there, but I think that judging by where it's placed, I think this boot knife is better placed on the other boot. For one thing, it seems to be a firmer fit over there. And just the direction of the blade makes me think that he would probably want it to be facing that way. Okay, let's put him on the base. So I'm not liking what's happening here with this. See how that arm is just totally perpendicular to the ground? Again, just bring it forward just a little bit. Just create angles. And since it's not, it's coming ever so slightly towards you this way, everything about this pose, again, is just drawing your eye towards the, towards the core of the figure. His gun's leading there to his skull. His arm is leading to his skull. And there it is. I think you got something there. Any pose that you hit with the Punisher should reflect that rage. Not furious, just icy. The thing that this version of the Punisher brings to the table is the variety of accessories that comes with it. 
You can dress him up however you like or dress him down however you like. You can go as minimalistic as you want to or you can just go all the way. The sky's the limit. I mean, anything that your imagination can come up with, you're gonna be able to do with this figure.